dog food, you get the biggest one. This is uh, 16 kilograms, that's over 30 pounds. It's a little bit less than I'm used to curling, but it'll get me a pump. What's good homies? Welcome to Summer Flex 11. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. All right, so we're gonna show you our top 10 macro hacks. What a better place to do it than a grocery store. I'm gonna go through like nutrition labels, tips, all that crap. Go through some specific foods, get you guys fired up. If you guys get this video to 200 likes, we will do a food challenge. Nominate some ideas in the comments below and we're gonna pick the best one, we'll do it. I know you guys will get us this like, so let's dive into it. Mm. Number one is don't let brands and enticing branding, marketing, whatever it may it be. Things like vitamin water, right? You hear vitamin water, oh, this is just healthy water with vitamins. When you really look at what it's made of here, let's just go through this. It's 120 calories, 32 grams of carbs, okay, which isn't horrible, carbs aren't the worst, but it's 32 grams of sugar. Therefore, why the heck would I have this vitamin water, get some extra vitamins that I could get in a vitamin pill? At the end of the day, it's just sugar water with added vitamins. You may as well have a pop. It really isn't that great for you. Don't be deceived just because something says vitamin or healthy or something like that. You gotta look into the labels. Always dive into the labels and that's number one. Don't be confused by marketing because it is everywhere. But dude, it's 199. Shut up. <laughs> number two is to log everything a day in advance, guys. If you're prepared, you know exactly what you're having will help you avoid an awkward situation of going over your calories or being forced into an awkward position where you have to get something on the go that doesn't sync with your day. Numero trois, combining two languages into one, two plus one equals three. So we're gonna dive into this. I'm just saying this stupid as crap. Okay, but I like to have a huge meal. This is a big macro hack. As funny as it sounds, if you actually have a big meal hearty with all your big three, a nice and full protein meal with some nice carbs and healthy fats, I find it really helps with food satiety. This is your ability to feel satisfied within the food and kind of have that transfer through the day. Whereas if you have a smaller meal, you'll find that you can often binge out at lunchtime or dinner time, especially I'd call those the danger times where there's mass amounts of food presented. And if you're kind of hungry throughout the whole day, you'll overeat. Whereas if you feel nice and satisfied, you're transferring it through the day, you feel refreshed, full, and ready to go. Macro hack number four, look for something that's a bit modified. What I mean by this is, if you take something like this, which is a cinnamon bun. Like Cinnabon, bro. <laughs> it tastes amazing. Um, there's a good amount of fiber in it. It's very low in fat and it just really takes away a lot of the calories. This is only 90 calories, especially for those of you who have sweet tooth like me. This can get the job done without binging out on a crazy high amount of calories, completely thrown off your day, and just gaining a bunch of fat. So look for stuff like this. Um, I'd highly recommend even protein bars as well. It is a great alternative. On a side note, I, don't, I hope we don't get copyrighted from this, whatever, oh. <laughs> whatever song this is. Macro hack number five, we have Sparkling water. Not the cheap kind either, the nice stuff. <laughs> so for myself, I really like to drink stuff like black coffee throughout the day, um, sparkling water, BC Table A's, anything that's really low in calories that can kind of fill you up and give you that satisfied feeling so that you're not craving a bunch of food. So sparkling water is super awesome and I highly recommend trying it out. So just to add on to that point, sometimes you just really want something to want something. I know it sounds weird, but if you're at work and you're kind of like have some downtime, you just want to drink on something and a lot of the time Times you'll really be racking up the calories within that so I highly recommend getting like a light nice little treat that tastes good that will really satisfy your sweet tooth kind of make you feel full and just you know keep the calories nice and low so Okay, one tip for you guys, this is something I'm very passionate about. Right here we have craft, right here we have craft calorie wise. I'd highly recommend you guys looking out for something that is a lot more calorically friendly. 
What I mean by this is this has four grams of fat per tablespoon. A tablespoon is very small, and a lot of you people who really like to put on a ton of sauce, it can add up ridiculously fast. Whereas this one is 2.5 grams of fat per tablespoon. I know it's not that big of a difference when you look at it that way, but it certainly does make a huge difference in the overall outcome of caloric intake. Grabbing 10 tablespoons of that sucker somehow like a madman. This is 40 grams of fat right here, where this is not 40. So all in all guys, it is not a huge difference calorie wise. They do taste exactly the same, but when you're trying to lose weight, every single calorie matters. And by decreasing, you know, 15 calories right here within a tablespoon, it'll bring you closer to your goals. All right guys, number seven. This one's gonna be super short, but super important. Avoid these little additions. They will kill you. Bacons and garlic. Bacon here, this is 35 calories and 2.5 fat per tablespoon. So you're gonna rack it up grabbing the higher calorie dressing as well. Like let's say this craft right here is seven grams of fat. You have that, so we're at seven. You add in some of these suckers, that's 9.5. Then you fire up the croutons. That puts us down to 11 grams of fat. Just for one table, one serving of all of these, you're gonna have about five of all of these. You're gonna be talking 80 fat for a simple salad. Why are you having a salad? Go and have a nice burger at that rate. So you wanna avoid these guys altogether. They really aren't worth it, and they really do stack up. If you're gonna have a salad, keep it healthier. This is more of a treat, and if you're gonna do that, have it as a treat. But bro, aren't salads healthy? I'm leaving. All right, guys, so people are looking at us like we're really weird. I'm just gonna start flexing while I'm talking so they know that we're we're really out there filming in a grocery store, going through the day-to-day -day with you guys. We're taking the hit. All right, so this is number eight, and this is my personal favorite. If you need to flavor things up, red hot, pepper, you're gonna add these to everything, as well as mustard. Mustard's another awesome alternative. Adds a ton of flavor with close to no expense. You're gonna get a bit of sodium, but that's okay. Don't be too afraid of sodium, guys. Check out our Food Myth video if you haven't already. You'll learn about that there. And then yeah, just add it, flavor it up, keep it low cal, enjoy it. And this will kind of take you away from things like mayonnaise, other stuff. I love it right here because there's just so many people to watch me talk about food in a grocery store. All right, time to number nine. Uh, all right. Yeah, okay. So if you guys don't know, Kyle's in the same spot where people are gonna think we're wackos, but that's okay. All right, food volume, guys. It is absolutely crucial, especially when you are in a low-calorie diet. Josh told me this. I actually didn't know it, but baby dill pickles for one pickle is four calories. So with that being said, someone can go out there and have two Big Macs for 1,500 to 2,000 calories, not be satisfied. It'll taste good, but it won't fill them up. Whereas the same person can have. You know, a thousand, probably about a thousand grams of rice, like maybe 300 grams of chicken, a ton of veggies, a ton of pickles, all of that stuff. It'll leave them feeling full and then they will not be craving anything afterwards. So as much as we preach flexible dieting, we also preach having a lot of volume within your meals and eating nutritious, voluminous foods. Those veggies, baby! Get Eat those veggies! Okay guys, we're gonna talk about marketing ripoffs. Number one right here. Round two. Yeah, we have the protein morning shake. Now let's look at this. It has five grams of fat, and it also has 10 grams of protein. So for someone like Josh, he would have to have 23 of these within the day to hit his protein goal. It says it's high protein morning shake, but is it really? Not at all. It's just marketed like that. Regardless, if he had a couple of scoops of EHP Labs whey, Which pro I do, bro. whey protein, um, he would, Two Easily hit 50 goal. grams. Let's exactly. Go. So also make sure to use our code Colossus10 to save 10% off. But guys, just a heads up, look out for those labels. I've seen bars that say high protein that are literally three grams. It's like just a marketing purpose and it really doesn't add any value to your diet. You might as well go out and have like a chocolate bar or something like that because it, it's loaded with the fat anyway. So on the other end, there are things that are marketed as high protein that are actually incredible and high protein. Uh, as you can see with this cereal here, Edge with Protein, it's like 11 grams a serving, a cup or something. That is just amazing for cereal. So look at the label, don't trust it at first. Look at the macros, if they're there, trust it, use it. It's a really good way to hack the system. You can get high protein spaghetti noodles as well. It's an incredible way to get protein in throughout the day from other sources as well as having chicken and protein. You can kind of spread it out, get that protein synthesis nice and high, and that's another quick little macro tip.
Another quick tip, if you got that sweet tooth, instead of going out and overindulging on incredible amounts of ice cream and other things, if you just like having sweet things at the end of the night, have some uh, honey, I'd recommend natural honey, not necessarily this, this is loaded with sugar, this is the best example I can find here. Put it in a tea, you'll get that nice sweet feeling, the warm feeling in your stomach, at the expense of little to no calories, guys. All right, Fiber One cereal. This is a double-edged sword. I love it, I have it within reason. If you have too much of this, you'll get way too much fiber. They have incredible amounts per serving, as you guys can see here. It is 13 grams of fiber per cup. This is pretty nuts, because if you're gonna have like five cups of cereal or on a bulk, you're gonna wanna stay away from this. This is really gonna screw up your bowel movements. Fiber will block you up. You guys can read up on fiber, you'll see what it does. It's important to have in your diet to make sure you're maintaining that and regulating those bowel functions. Fiber is also incredible for food satiety. So to have a cup of this in the morning will fill me up more than three cups of another cereal would. All right, this is the biggest tip for you peanut butter lovers. There's gonna be a lot of retweets on this one. So it's 25% less fat peanut butter. I know it doesn't seem like a ton, but if you really think about it, you could have five tablespoons at the expense of four of the other, which is a massive difference for those of you that are obsessed with peanut butter. You're a peanut butter man now, eh, sir? Yes, I believe I am. I thoroughly enjoy this peanut butter. Another amazing macro hack tip I have for peanut butter is weigh it. Put it on the scale, physically weigh it, start it so it says zero grams, take out your 15 grams of serving and you'd be amazed how much more it is. It says a tablespoon, but I swear it's more than that. It's really cool. Don't cheat yourself, guys. Get as much peanut butter as you can in. Hey guys, burgers taste amazing, especially this kind right here, the Keg Steakhouse and Bar. I'm not saying don't eat it, but they can be an absolute killer in your diet. This one has 41 grams of fat. The second you add on another one, that's 82 grams, which is a lot more than most people will have in a day. You take this one, which is a blue menu, 30% less fat, and it has eight, or sorry, 13 grams of fat. You can literally have three of these burgers for the equivalent of one. So I like to put myself in a situation where if I'm going to have two or three burgers, I can enjoy it without going crazy over and I can actually reap the benefits of if it fits your macros. So just look out for that. All right, hopefully you enjoyed these secrets to getting shredded here. These are some key things I've learned over the years along with Kyle. Right now we're just stopping. Um, since I have a very long, um, beautiful, luminous head of hair, I like to use a lot of different lotions. So we're just gonna talk about that, but that's a video for our beauty channel, ColossusFitnessBeauty.com. You can check that out. Uh, it's a section we, no, I'm kidding, but in all seriousness, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you really liked it, get us to 250 likes. We'll make that the goal to see if people really enjoyed it. We'll do a part two. We could go on forever. We could get this up to 100 over time. There's so many other cool things I really want to talk about, like almond milk versus milk. There's just like vast, vast things we can talk about, and this is a topic that really excites us. So we'd love for a part two. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace. Sexy hair. Shopping cart.